Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. I'm under the bridge. This is where the sign is. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Well, people, there's a change coming. A change in the weather. A change in <laughs> the, the societal thinking of the collective. They're beginning to arise you know like arising waking up stretching like looking around like what's really going on have you noticed that with this shutdown you got all kinds of people that have really good jobs get this now they got really good jobs they got really good health care all this bells and whistles and they still by the hundreds of thousands of people are living paycheck to paycheck. There's something horribly wrong with this. This whole thing could be a sigh for just this one thing. Just to see how many people are living from paycheck to paycheck because they're using the local media to go around and interview people that have these government jobs that are not getting checks and the first thing comes out of their mouth, well, if I don't get a check in a month, I'm, I'm going down, I'm, I'm going under. Well, what do you mean? You're making 70 to $80,000 a year and you haven't saved any money? You haven't stockpiled any food? You don't have any water saved up? But you can't pay your bills in another 30 days? Another 60 days? 90 days? Could you possibly go 90 days? It's that way all across this country and all over the world. Nobody has anything saved up. Nobody has any clue or any idea what could go down. Yes, and I'm going to Jamaica. <laughs> I ain't going to Jamaica because I'm scared. I'm going to Jamaica because I'm going to have fun. If I was scared, I wouldn't go. I'd hunker down either in place or whatever. But I, I don't want to, you don't have to know my plans because I'm going to tell you something. Laura and I are prepared for anything. One thing is you need a lot of water. Just as simple as that. I am blessed. But I, I'm telling you, it's amazing to hear all these people who's got these $90,000 a year jobs and, and they lose a couple of paychecks and they go bankrupt. That don't make no sense, people. It don't make no sense. It's a slave mentality that they have to live in a house they can't afford and drive cars they can't afford because they want to look like what the TV tells them to look like. They want to dress like what the TV tells them to dress like. That's the trap of the matrix. It's right in our face every night. They keep interviewing all these people, keep telling them, tell us about um, how you're doing, getting along without a government check. Not real good. I ain't got but about a, another 30 days and I, I, can't, I won't even be able to pay my car note, my house note, my, my colleges, my kids' colleges or nothing. We'll just be belly up. It's happening all over the country right now. People are taking stock of what they don't have. I'm going to tell you something. I'm a billionaire. Get this. I'm a billionaire. I know billionaires that don't have health. When you got your health, you've got everything. So be healthy. Get your asses out of debt. Sell your house that you can't afford that makes you have slave mentality that you can't go to Jamaica with me. If I wanted you to go to Jamaica, you couldn't go because you're in debt. You're living in a house that's worth three, five hundred thousand dollars and you, you lose one month's worth of pay and you can't even pay a car note. You got two cars that you don't even need to be driving. You ought to be driving a 97 town and country. <laughs> a Cavalier. You need to be driving something that you can afford. All these people living above their means, the shit's got to stop. That's what this whole thing is showing us. There's so many people that's in debt trying to look good. Living in houses they can't afford and driving cars they can't afford. God, I'm so glad I'm out of debt. I'm so glad that 
I can do what I want to do. I have freedom. Let me tell you this real quick and I'm going to go. You remember I told you the story about Joe Turner, Christ conscious man? He's a being of light when he was on this planet. Well, after he told me about the resurrected power of the I am and we talked about Christ consciousness and he got ready to leave. Literally, he was going to Texas. This is like the next day or two days after he, I met him when he drove in. He said, buddy, there's a whole lot of things I could tell you. There's a, I've seen a thing or two. I've done a thing or two. I've been a, to a place or two. He said, there's a lot I could tell you, but I got to go on and get on over to Texas. But I'm going to tell you one thing, buddy. One thing. Be free. I pondered on that and slept on that and it was another two or three weeks before he came back and I hugged his neck the first time I seen him I said I think I understand what you're talking about be free if you're not free you've got no liberty if you're not free you're a slave if you're not free you're working to pay bills because you're in debt I didn't have nothing when I met Emily and Joe I had lost it all and in that I found the most important thing about this reality and loving and caring for people and understanding that you care for yourself first when you're in an airplane and they tell you to put the mask on who do they tell you to put the mask on put it on you first you're the one that's got to make it through this journey. You're the one that's got to make it through this stupidity. You're the one that's got to make it through this shutdown. Yeah, shut the country down. Hell, people, it may not ever start back up again. But I'm going to Jamaica because I'm free and I'm not afraid. You hear me? I'm not afraid. These people can do whatever they want to with my internet, my Facebook, and all that. Cut me off. Make me shadow ban, make it work. Can't nobody see my channel. It don't matter to me, people. If you're watching, that's great. If you get what I'm telling you, listen, sell your house. Quit giving to churches. Stop right away. No more. Don't give them no more tithing. Hell, you, you're the one has got to put that mask on your face and survive the shutdown. Listen, if you can't survive, can't, you can't help nobody. I can help you from afar because I'm going to Jamaica. <laughs> I'll keep making videos and tell you stuff every now and then, but I'm going. <laughs> I already done bought the plane ticket. <laughs> all right, look, I'm going to make another video later about uh, who I'm all, I'm inviting everybody. Anybody that's a friend of mine on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, any of my social media, if you're a kite boarder and you want to do some kiting, I can hook you up. I can get you a room for as low as $30 a night to it depend on if you want like a little, you know, upscale thing. We got we got those, you know, for 60. So can you imagine $60 a night at where normally you'd pay 200 for something that was just about the same thing and you're within walking distance to the beach and you can kiteboard? $30 a night. If if you call first cuz I'm going to start taking them first call first receive. It's called booking. <laughs> and uh yeah, I'm not giving my bedroom up, but <laughs> uh, the place I'm staying with Kimberly, she's got several rooms. We can accommodate people. Hell, if we got to, we got people coming in. We can put them um, in the living room. Got these kind of couches that lay out and make beds. Hell, we'll put you everywhere. You can pitch a tent in the yard. It don't, it just, just, if you want to come, come on, come to Jamaica and kiteboard with me. I'll make a better video about that whole subject later. All right, I love y'all. And it, I'm not through. If you watch this, if you watch this video all the way through the end, you're a true friend. My hand is shaking. I'm, I've held this camera so long. I gotta go. Bye.